of what you guys have done by being here. Um, so uh, we still have a long drive to go towards our concert tonight, and um, I'm going to play a couple of songs for you, and then we're going to hop back in the car and head back, uh, head back out there. Thanks to Corey for realizing Woo! this was on our own. <laughs> Put this together. Yay. about some people similar to yourselves, except uh, they were uh, many miles away from here, but engaged in a, a not dissimilar struggle. Gather around people, I'll tell you a story, a story that started and grew for eight years, about a big British factory that came to Australia, and a young man named Vincent, whose people worked there factory was huge, they turned cows into money and turned people to slaves for a century or so. The Gurindji people were ancient but helpless, but they said, from little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. And the Gurindji were working for nothing but rations, where once they had gathered the wealth of the land. Vincent saw his people shrink toward their extinction Till the Gurindji decided they must make a stand They picked up their swags and they started off walking To Wadi Creek where they sat themselves low It don't sound like much, but it sure got tongues talking From little things, big things grow From little things, big things grow Then the factory man roared, we'll double your wages, 18 quid a week you can have in your hand. Vincent said, uh-uh, we ain't just talking about wages, we're sitting right here until we get our land. And the factory man roared, the factory man thundered, you don't stand a chance of a cinder in snow. Vincent said, if we fall, there's others arising, and from little things, big things, from little things, big things grow. So then Vincent set out, and he boarded an airplane and landed in Sydney, big city of lights. There he went round quietly speaking his story to all kinds of people in all walks of life. So Vincent sat down with some big politicians. Let us sort it out, they said, but Vincent said no. They said, your people are hungry, but he said, we're still patient. And from little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Then Vincent, the old man, got back in an airplane. Back to his people once more to sit down. There he told them, let the stars keep on turning. We have friends in the south, in the cities and towns. Till those years of struggle were paid off in victory. The people won back their lands of long ago. And the dirt of the earth poured into Vincent's old fingers, whispering, from little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Now that was the story of Vincent Langari, but this is the story of something much more. How power and privilege cannot move a people when they know where they stand, and they stand in their law. And that was the story, not just of Australia, and it's not a people or a color that's a friend or a foe. But the power for justice we all hold together 